I'll be there for you when the rain starts to fall. I'll be okay. That was horrendous. Uh, that's well, you know, I mean, listen, this is this is your live friends, Josh Brady. Uh, I'm not I'm not a Rembrandt. I don't know how to sing the song. I'm not. Listen, if this was karaoke, I would try and rip it. Everybody knows that. Um, th this is the friends, Josh Brady. You guys have all been waiting for. It's gonna get rowdy. It's gonna get loud. I'm really excited that you're all here. Thank you all for uh, being a part of it. Now, my co-host, I wanted to actually battle in the trivia, but she basically told me that this would give her too much anxiety. So I asked her to be my co-host, my former co-host on Collider Live, the pride of Newton, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Roxy Strat. Like I've been there before, I've been there for you. Yep, you got I it. actually am a Rembrandt. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that anxiety thing ain't no lie, Josh. Yep. Uh, it, it, I have heart palpitations asking questions. Imagine what would happen to me if I was answering these questions. Yes. Woo, baby. I know. Um, and you sent me, you, I, you had somebody on your live stream last week and they asked you friends trivia and you didn't get, you got one right, you got one wrong. No, no, no. I didn't have somebody on. I was interviewing Kevin Bright, one of the three EPs of Friends. Got and it. he asked me Friends trivia, and I didn't know the answers, but he sent me a card afterwards and a trivia book to get better. So who's the winner now? Well done, Roxanne. There's well more where that came from, baby. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, you did a hell of a job writing um, the questions, and I, I really appreciated that. I've been watching so much Friends. I've been t uh, just DVRing TBS for the last two and a half weeks. And to be honest with you, Friends has been like my quarantine show, so it's really gotten me through this quarantine. Amanda and I have been watching boatloads of friends every morning. So it's been fantastic. Well, was there any kind of, I don't know whether you thought of this or this just happened, but HBO Max obviously launched two days ago and now okay. friends is available for everybody to stream. So this came at perfect timing. Was that planned? Uh, I no, but it, I mean, my timing couldn't have been better. Like everything in life, my timing completely off, but tonight, Completely on, Roxy. Just wow. completely on. It's so so uh, we have two amazing competitors. Uh, one of them, my former co-host on TV Talk. You guys know her from Clever. Uh, she is the ultimate friend super fan, as she's told me many, many times on TV Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sinead the Freaks. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm nervous. How are you? Are you ready? Okay, I'm good. How are you guys doing? Hey, Rox. Hey, hey, hey girl. Uh, yeah. Chandler Bong. That's Miss Chandler Bong. That is true. One <laughs> point. Give her a point, Josh. Write it down. All right. She's already got points. She's already got points. I How are you guys? I'm really nervous. I am serious. I feel like I feel like I've I don't know the last time I've been this nervous for anything. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is pounding. Yeah, because the problem is, if you don't do well, you let down the entire fan base. So, like, yeah, that's a lot I'm of pressure. Like, I feel like I'd be so ashamed of myself because I have watched all of Friends more times than, like, anybody should watch any TV show ever. Mm -hmm. So, if I were not to get questions right, I'd be like, what was I even doing, you know? Yeah. I have Go ahead, Rox. Go ahead. It's kind of like you've been studying for this moment your entire life. Uh, so, it's like, what you're doing. Drinking. What are you, who really are you as a person, if not this? And so that, that's why I didn't want to be in your shoes because I didn't want to know that my life was pointless if I didn't do well. So, yeah, and I honestly, I don't know how well versed my competitor is either. I was surprised because I was like, I feel like I know this person's definitely seen it, but I, I wasn't sure if they are as much of a super fan as I am. Mm -hmm. Honestly, well, I have a strong feeling that tonight could be a Sinead bloodbath. Because Mark Ellis has confidence, but Sinead, Sinead may come in here like a buzzsaw. But ladies and gentlemen, you know him as uh, the, the, he posts the most dog pictures of any person on the internet. One of the funniest stand-up comedians around, Dog Stepfather, currently on Amazon Prime. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if he's still there, but his camera's on. It's Mark Ellis. 
I just wanted to show you the dog. Oh, no, he just wanted to show the dog. There you go. Look, I need to curry all the favor I can with the fans, with the host, with my competitor, because I'm a fan of Friends in that I watched it on Thursdays when it was on, and I was a fan of it. I love every character. Uh, Norm, Cliff, Carla <laughs> behind the bar. It's, it's the theme song. It takes place in Boston. I love the show so much. Uh off to good, good I'm just, listen. He doesn't that, get any points for that. No. no for that. I brought my bobblehead because I don't own any friends' bobbleheads. So I brought my Go I see us. Mr. Ratch and Rachel. There you go. Oh, I dropped it. If you had to get one rid of one of them, which one would it be? What? Well, the Ross one has a bit a little Marcel, which is so cute. Oh. Right? And then Rachel does have a central perk mug, though. Mm. I don't, that's like, it's like asking, like, which kidney I would get rid of, you know? I don't think I could make that decision. Just um, learned that we have two kidneys at this very moment right now. Thank you for telling me that. Do you guys want to see something cool? Because we're showing yeah. off things? Yeah. Sure. Look what I made during quarantine. Oh, that's awesome. I saw that was like 115 dollars. Yeah. yeah. It's so that's so good. It's fine. Oh, it's it's fine. Hours, whatever. No worries. Wow. Is Harrison, like literally, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Star Wars, and it took me half a day, and he broke it within thirty seconds. <laughs> and then I wanted to cry. So now all of it is in a Tupperware, and he's not allowed to touch it anymore. <laughs> that's mm. fantastic. Um, okay, so how Josh pretty works, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first round. Points are worth one to five points. Each category, uh, we're going to have a toss-up question at the beginning. You'll Wait, get to I'm, li I'm listening. I am going to go feed the dog real quick. Okay. I'm yes. listening. A classic Marcel move. Classic Marcel move. Uh, Marcel, Marcel. Yeah. Wait, it's not a question in Josh Pretty right now, but did Marcel leave the show when he got famous after that movie? What do you mean? Did he leave the show? Was what that the last episode? Was that the one? Was that was that the last episode of the show ever? No, Marcel no. left in like season two or three. No, or no. three. You mean when he was when the character Marcel was famous in the fake movie that was on Friends? Was that yes. the last that we ever saw him? Yeah. Didn't didn't we put him no. in the zoo? No, because then Ross goes to find him, and he's on the set of that like like one of those movies. Like, it doesn't isn't that the Jean Claude, Jean -Claude Van Damme one? Yeah, yeah, and then he like doesn't remember him because he's all famous. But like, he's in the zoo. He goes to the zoo and like yeah, yeah. He goes to the zoo and then they tell him his his monkey's dead. And then the guy comes up behind him. He's like, "Meet me in the nocturnal house. It's about your monkey. He's alive." That one. And then uh, he was just tempting you, and you passed. Oh man. I'll tell you what, Sinead is already showing her muscle. This could be a bloodbath. This yeah, I, I was hearing a little bit of it, and I know that Marcel's a monkey. I think it's the same monkey from Outbreak, and I know it's a female monkey. That's all I know. It was played by a female monkey. It was a yeah. Let me turn off this email real quick. Babe, I can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have a Mac. I'm a Windows girl, and I still don't know how to work it. Yeah. What email? But like His email, so it stops making the buzz. Oh, that's just on your end. That's just on your end. We're not hearing that. Oh, look at that. Thanks, babe. Yeah. Okay. So toss-up question, and then you'll get your category. If you answer the question incorrectly, uh, your competitor will get a chance to steal. You'll get all five questions in that category. The fifth category in each round uh, will be you'll each get a chance to answer. That'll be the write-down category. So you each get a chance to write it down. I'll okay. tell you to hold it up to your camera. Uh, then we'll do the points. Roxy and I will alternate asking the questions in each, like, per category. So Roxy will get a category. I'll get a category. Same for Josh Brady and double Josh Brady. Then okay. we will do a rapid fire Josh Brady. 15 questions okay. fast as you can answer. Them. And then final Josh Brady will be a gambling. There are two daily, uh, I'm going to call them Chandler bangs. Uh, and you'll get a chance to gamble points if you bet that category and get that answer. Uh, and I'll walk you through that because Roxy's never seen an episode of Jeopardy. She told me that when we were getting ready for this and it blew my mind. So. <laughs> that is kind of crazy because I don't even watch it, but like sometimes it just comes on, you know? Yeah, I feel like it's been on, but also I was trying to confirm with Josh before a rule and I realized I was talking about prices, right? So you, you just don't know. Yeah. 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 Um, but the toss up question is it whoever answers first or how's that? Yeah, 
just raise your hand and whose ever hand I see first. Just give me okay. one of these. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Not, here is this is not 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 out. Out's bad. Just out's bad. Just, just give me one of these. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, My people appreciate that. Thank you. Are you ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm terrified. Friends, Josh Pretty. Roxy, are you ready? I'm sweaty. <laughs> Sinead, yes. are you I'm literally, like, I'm so nauseous I could throw up right now. <laughs> Mark, are you ready? <laughs> Dude, you should see these nipples. <laughs> Here what? we go. All right. Your toss-up question. What instrument does Ross play at the at the Central Park? Oh, Mark. Uh, keyboards. Keyboard is correct. Mark. <laughs> Uh, Roxy, would you like to give the categories in Josh Brady? Yes, there are five categories, and here they are. He's her lobster. We were on a break. I'll be there for you. Just a love machine. And Nestle Tool House. Hmm. Um, I think I'm going to go with just a love machine because that's what I am and that's who I care about. <laughs> that is how you are often described, Mark. Uh, just you a love machine. So many times before. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing a new girl back to this place literally every night during quarantine. It's amazing. <laughs> that's terrible. I hope you're not doing that. <laughs> I, I, even if I wanted to, I don't have the option. <laughs> So, of course, uh, this category is a guest star category. We are talking guest stars on Friends, Just a Love Machine. Are you ready for your first question? Sabotaging myself before the game even starts. Yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. The question is, Rachel has two sisters, Jill and Amy. Who plays Jill? Um, I think it's Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon oh, is one point. Woo! Yeah. There he goes. All right. Number two question is Who plays Earl, the man Phoebe tries to convince not to kill himself while she is working at a call center? Earl. Um,. Uh, John Lovett. You're going to be kicking yourself over this one. Made for the steal. Damn it. I can't think of his name, but it does start with a J, I think. It does. I know. It's on the tip of my tongue. I feel like five, four, three, two, Jason. one. What? Jason, Jason Alexander. Alexander. Oh, Jason God. Alexander. Oh. God damn. All right. Okay. I'm All okay right. with that. That, that would have been a big I, I steal. I here in my brain, so that's okay. Coming off the last Josh Brady you did, you would think. But all right, going to this third question. Third question. What club was Brad Pitt's character, Will, the founder of? What club was he the founder of? Um, hair club for men for the steel Sinead. Sinead. I hate Rachel club. That's oh, do we give it? It's the I hate Rachel Green club, but I think it's close yeah. enough. I think yeah. the points yeah. count. We'll give you that. We'll give you, uh, we'll so give you the point. Real quick note Nils is very disappointed that I didn't get the first question. But if we remember, Ross played both the keyboards and the bagpipes, remember? So I was like, I gotta wait till the question. There you go. Okay. But he said at Central Perk, the bad pipes were not inside. Well, well, he raised his hand before. Before, <laughs> yeah. Good point. It's a good yeah. point. All right. All right. Okay. Back in the game. Back in the game. I don't remember any of the categories. Question number four. Uh, yeah. Who was bumped off Ross's list of women he was allowed to sleep with? Isabella Rossellini. This is not your category, in Mark's fact. Not. Wait, didn't I steal it? So don't I keep going? No, no, no. You stole it, but it still stays Mark's category. Oh, sorry. Um, it's not Isabel Isabella Rossellini. Mark. I'm, I'm just going to say the question because I honestly didn't know it was Isabella Rossellini. 
or okay. Sinead can steal it. You can give it to Sinead because I wasn't going to get it. No, I honestly, I thought that's what I thought. That's how the game worked. No, no, no. It's it stays his category until we give you the category. That's on me. Oh. It's real Je Jeopardy, but this is Josh pretty Sinead. Yeah, so but just she, she okay. clearly knew it. I didn't, so give her the points. No, you got it. French. What a gentleman. Hey. Very right. Marcel of you. I'm really sorry. All right, Mark, right. you're as a as lead judge or whatever. Yes. It's a four point question. Sinead will give you two points. How's that sound? Okay. Mm. Sorry, Mark. Fair enough. Fair enough. I blame Four. Josh for not telling me the rules. <laughs> so to be clear on this one, this is a question for Mark. It is your final question in this category. It is worth five points. And here is the question. Susan Sarandon plays Cecilia Monroe on Friends. But what is her character's name on Days of Our Lives? Um... Raquel. Raquel. Incorrect. This is incorrect, Sinead. You are now allowed to steal. She plays Jessica Lockhart. Oh, Sinead. Wow. For the yes. steal, Jessica Lockhart. Wow. After one round, which wasn't Sinead's, it's 10 <laughs> to 1. It's 10 to 1. Oof. Tough, tough. 10 to, okay. how Sinead, 10 to 1. Sinead, would you like to have the categories read to you again? Sure. Okay. Go ahead, Rox. Those categories are, we were on a break, I'll be there for you, Nestle Toll House, and He's Her Lobster. Just because it's an iconic moment in Friends, let's go with He's Her Lobster. All right, uh, Josh, these questions are coming from you. Yep, yeah, He's Her Lobster. These questions are in sex, love, and relationships. Okay, question one. Sinead, name all three of Ross's wives. Okay. Carol, Emily, and Rachel. That's true. Give her the point. Give her the point. Give her the point. Okay. Question two. Why did Phoebe and Mike break up? Because Mike didn't want to get married ever. There you go, Sinead, two points. Nailed it. Running the I, category. For the record, I knew both those. So <laughs> I'm just going to point out the ones that I knew as I'm getting them. <laughs> it will make well you done. feel better, I think. Well done. Mm -hmm. Mark, Mark just, that was a, the problem was choosing the category, Mark, that happens. But how do you pick just the love machine and not know? <laughs> just the love it's machine. Just love machine. That's like one of my favorite, like honestly favorite episodes. It's mm. awesome. So good. Okay. Question three. What country does Chandler tell Janice he's moving to? 15 Yemen Road, Yemen. So, <laughs> Yemen. <laughs> wow. The whole address. Wow. Here we go. Question four, Sinead. What is the profession of Phoebe's first husband, Duncan Sullivan? He's in the ice capades. So give he's an ice capader. Ice capade, ice skater will give it to you. Damn. Whew. Okay. And finally, Sinead for the sweep. What is the name of Richard's son that Monica kisses? Dr. Timothy Burke. Wow. Whoa. The name. <laughs> it is currently 25 <laughs> to 1. I'm, I'm taking a nap. See you guys later. Ah. This is good. This is making me feel better because I'm already getting drunker. So then I know that I'm still, I have my wits about me, you know? I got to say that was impressive from one friend's uh, fanatic to another. Damn, girl. Damn. Damn. That was a run. Well done. 15 Yemen Road. <laughs> yeah. 15 Yemen Road, Yemen. When you said your favorite was the Bruce Willis, that's one of my favorite scenes at the it's airport. It's the best. Mm -hmm. I too am a, I'm a love machine. Guy. Um, he Bruce Willis is one of my favorite guest stars. He's so good. <laughs> I was having this conversation the other day. Who do you think is the biggest guest star to ever star on Friends? Brad Pitt. The biggest one is probably like so. Gary Oldman, I think is biggest, but not the best one. But I think nowadays, looking back, Gary Oldman is probably like, and and um, Brad Pitt, Gary Brad Oldman, Pitt. And Brad Pitt. N neither, none of you guys think Julia Roberts. 
Oh, Julia no, Roberts. No, I, don't think, I think she's really, really close. But I think mm. biggest is probably like in today's terms, it's probably Brad Pitt. The um, answer is four names, and it's Jean Claude Van, and I'll let you guess the last one. <laughs> hey, Josh, remember when you when we watched Darn. that show? Yeah, <laughs> I do. Great show. Great show. I missed it terribly. Okay, Mark, your yeah. your choice here. Uh, uh, Roxy, give them the categories. We were on a break. I'll be there for you, or Nestle to Laos. Uh, give me. I'll be there for you because I need someone to be there for me right now. True. Okay. All right. I'll be there for you for that one pointer. And these again are for Mark. Ross dresses up as the holiday blank for Christmas. Um, I don't know. The holiday turkey. Oh. For the steel, Sinead. The holiday armadillo. Come on. The holiday armadillo. Well done, Sinead. Well done. I'll uh, keep her mouth shut this time. Mark, uh, this Wiley Henry said this is like when Mark played Brian and we golf. Clearly a bloodbath. <laughs> right? Yeah, except now I'm playing the role of Brian. Yeah. There you go. Hey, it's okay. Yeah. I can come back from this. Mark, yes, you Mark, can. Hey, uh, Roxy, real quick. You forgot to tell Mark. By the way, Mark, the, the this these are all holiday episode themed. Oh, I did forget to tell you that, and that is true. Yeah. Now you know. Yes. Uh, going to question number two, which season was the only season without a Thanksgiving episode? I think it was season two. Season two is correct. Yeah. Get the points. Mark gets it. Woo. I, I would have gotten that wrong for sure. Yeah, what up, she nasty? Who's nasty now? For question number three, you have pulled a Chandler Bing. Chandler Woo! Bing, Chandler Bing. All right, Mark, currently, currently, you have three points. Okay. Like in Jeopardy and in Double Jeopardy, it doesn't matter how many points you have, you can risk up to 15 points right now. Oh, fuck you. That's actually not a number. I just, I'm not confident in the holiday episodes enough. Like, you don't lose of... points. Hmm? You will not lose the points. I'm not going to do that. So. Oh, okay. Wait. Like, wait. If, you, if you bet 15, I'm not going to take you to negative. I'll just take you to zero. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then, um, in that case, let's just, let, let, let's, let's put it all on the table, see what happens. All okay. right, so you are betting 15 points, risking going back to zero with this question, the question and, and category, I'll be there for you, the holiday episodes. Here's a question. What is Ross's New Year resolution that causes him to wear leather pants? Um, I remember they all, didn't they all make New Year's resolutions? Um, to to three to get a girlfriend. Two. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not to get a girlfriend. Uh, Sinead, for does she get to steal? No, or she, oh. not, on the, not on the Chandler Banks. Yeah, you don't get to steal. Uh, it's to try something new every day. Try awesome. something new every day. So, okay. Mark, back down to zero. Where I belong. The, the risk was not worth it, but, you know, uh, maybe this next one, if you get this right, you'll get more points than you had had ever the whole way leading up to this. So right. here we go. Sure. Question four. In the, one with the, uh, in the one with the Halloween party, which two DC characters are Phoebe and Monica dressed as? Oof. Um... Uh, I'll go Batman and Superman. Oh, I Nathan. think she gets the steal on this one, Sinead. Uh, Monica is dressed as Catwoman, and Phoebe is dressed as Supergirl. 
Those are both correct for the steal on that, Sinead. Another opportunity for Mark here, though. Let's see what he can do with this five-point question. Uh, I think I know what I can do with it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Mark, what is the moist maker? Um... <laughs> The moist maker. It's a tough question. Um, it is a five pointer, yes. Yeah, well done, well done, Rox. Is it? Uh, I don't know. Um, Joey's bracelet. Joey's bracelet. Good answer. That, that shiny gold bracelet. Yeah. The moist maker is the extra layer of gravy soaked bread in Monica's leftovers Thanksgiving sandwiches. <laughs> it is literally the exact answer. Yes. Yes. Well done, Sinead. <laughs> Currently, uh, the score is 35 to nothing. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now, and Mark as a Redskins cool. fan should know what this beat down. <laughs> like, I'm going All right. Sinead, the. There's two uh, categories left on here. It's We Were on a Break or Nestle Toll House. All right, let's go. We Were on a Break. Okay. So this is going to be administered by Josh, but the category We Were on a Break is for Fights on Friends. Fights okay. on Friends. Okay. Question one, Sinead, what is the name of the self-defense form Ross tries to teach Phoebe and Rachel? Unagi. <laughs> that is correct, yeah. yes. Here we go. Here we go. Question two. What does Chandler lose? Sorry. How does Chandler lose the tip of his toe? Uh, Monica drops a knife on it when she's sure. trying to seduce him. Chopped it off. Yep. Chopped off the toe. Here we go. Question three. After fighting with Mike, and learning she can change her name, what does Phoebe change it to? Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, have that one. Okay. Best and name Mike, ever. Mike James is a do crap bag, which is always also a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question four. What was the name of the comic book character Ross created as a child? Science Boy. <laughs> Me just blood bathing right now. Yeah. Really good. There yeah. we go. This is this has become a game of Sinead's prowess. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm I'm to be good at something, you know. <laughs> and finally, question five: How many pages was Rachel's letter to Ross? Nineteen pages, front and back. That is actually incorrect. Oh, no! mark for the steal. Well, this could be nice. Um, oh, yeah, it is incorrect, isn't it? I'm going to say 18 pages front Damn and back. It. That is actually Damn correct, it. Mark. 18 pages front and Mark back. Ellis gets himself on the board. It's currently 10 -20. Simple mistake. Anyone could make it. Don't beat yourself up, Shanae, but congratulations, you know Mark, on that big up? steal. You know what this, I'm thinking of is when uh, Rachel's dog dies and she's reading the letter from her mom. And then she's like, LaPoo was dragged for nine. And then she flips it over and she was like, teen. teen Ma yeah, yeah, yeah. I just tough. watched that episode yeah. like three days ago. Oh, right, so right. tough. I'm, I'm so proud of you. That's a good one. That's a really good one to get. Ryan McGovern asked, uh, I think Sinead asked for this episode of Josh Brady and Mark was the only person they could find to compete. It's not true. I, I, I've been asking around. Nobody else wanted to compete. Hey, you, asked, uh, you asked people before me? No, no, no. no you no, were the before first. Mark. <laughs> okay. I yeah. offered to compete against anybody in anything. That's true. And this is the stable they put me in. Yes. yes. Here we go. That's really, that's friendship right there. Listen, Mark, that could be the start of Mark's comeback. It's currently 45 to 5. Triple He's threat. on the board. He's on the board. Triple threat. Good. You're He's close. On. For sure. Four. Okay. Okay. Here we go. And this is the fifth category. You guys, this is the writing category. So get out your pens and papers. Okay. 
Spelling okay. does not count. Spelling does not count. Okay. Just got nervous again. I think I think you're okay. Okay. No one knows okay. for sure, but I feel like when I used to run cross country and then the gun would go off and immediately I'd be like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Let's talk about right now. I feel like when I used to run cross country and I'd be crying after every race. <laughs> So yeah, the category cross country races because I dated a girl that ran cross country. I was about to be like, you what possessed you to watch cross country races? She was cute. She had nice legs. I don't know. <laughs> I had so to quit all sports because of my cannabis consumption. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. We were in different right. places in high school. Uh, all right, this, once again, you shall be administering the questions. This final category, Nestle Tool House, is, of course, about family. This is a family category. So okay. here we go with the first question. Phoebe's twin sister, Ursula, originally appeared on what TV show? Like in the show or like? It's another TV show. Okay. Character um, Ursula originated on. Character oh, Ursula. Shit. Answers up in five, four, three, two, one. Roxy, give me the answer. There you go. Mad about you is correct, Sinead. And. Mad about you. Mark got it too. Star Wars is incorrect, but Mad about you is correct. Yes, Mark. It's Points for Star both Wars of you guys. And right there is where I spilled chocolate on it. I oh, think yeah. I see Lisa Kudrow somewhere in there. It's like a Where's Waldo situation. All okay. right. So one point for each of you guys going into the second question in the round of Nestle Tool House. Second question being, how many sisters does Joey have? Oh. Sinead wrote that pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe next time. I mean, maybe next time I start Sinead at negative thirty and have a battle rock. Which time I have a the mulligan? Five, five, four, four three, three. Go to me first because it's really bad handwriting. All right, okay. what do you got? I think it's eight. Sinead that is, is inc. Seven it is, is seven. It is seven. Yeah. Also, Mark, your eight looks oddly like a six. Yeah, well. Let me see it again. <laughs> Why did you do it like that? <laughs> I, I panicked. I didn't know how much time I had left. <laughs> All right. How much time do I have? It takes a long time to make this eight. All right, going to the next question. The third question in Nestle Tool House. What was Nana's real name? the grandmother of Monica and Ross. Five, yeah. four, three, two, one. Answers up. Sinead. Althea. Althea is accurate, oh. yes. What happened? I wrote, I wrote <laughs> Athena. Do not give me points for that. Oh, oh that was so close. Was very close. Oh, was close. Very close. So close. The fourth question in this round. Are you guys ready for the no. penultimate question in this round? What famous person does Phoebe believe is her grandfather? I like what you did there, by the way, Rox. Enunciating? No, with the penultimate question one. Oh, thank you. I stole that from you. In five, four, three, two, one. Answers up. Don't add it. Mark. Is that right? Einstein is correct. Is. Oh, Albert right. Einstein, correct. Oh, God. Makes sense. Makes sense. It, he's in the photograph. Mm-hmm. And the last question in this round. This is a very tough one. The five pointer in Nestle Toolhouse. What are the names of Monica and Chandler's two kids? Oh, I got that. <laughs> Sinead putting this game to shame. <laughs> hey, Bob. Um, I think 
seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Answers up. Erica and Jack is yes, correct. That is correct. Uh, I got reasonably close. I had Erica and Alan. Erica and Alan. Right. You know what, Mark? Because it's such a bloodbath, we'll give you one point for Erica. I dead. feel like I feel like two and a half points. Don't right, we'll give you two. What the hell? Sinead got five. And the current score right now is 60 to eight. I'm on the board. I'm on the board. Whoa. Yeah, he's on the board in a big way. Yeah. And in, in a number that you can't write out very well, kind of way, but <laughs> still on the board. Okay. Maybe six might be an eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going into the double Josh Birdie round. Again, score is 60 to 8. In the lead, uh, Sinead, you, you would think that you would get the first choice, but because Mark is uh, in, uh, as they would do in Jeopardy, the person in last place gets to pick first in double Josh Birdie. Here we go. Uh, your categories, Mark, are the one about the finale, the one about the apartment, the one about jobs, the one about sex, and the one about habits, ticks, and bad ideas. All right. I switched from a basketball to a football. I think that's really going to pay off here. Yeah. I feel so it. Let's do the one about jobs. The one about jobs. Uh, Roxy, you want to take the first one here? Yeah, great. Here we go. The one about jobs. Question one. What kind of accent does Ross use while teaching a class at NYU? Hmm. Think of that. I would say British, but I'm going to say British or English. That is correct. Give it to him. Give it Moving to him. Moving on Wait. up. You got two points? That's one. No, isn't it dub? Don't we double? In oh, yeah, two. You're right. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. You're right. Trying to steal points from your friend, Mark. Double, wow. double, double. double. Everything is worth double points here. So this next one will be worth four points because math. Yep. Question being, <laughs> what was the name of Monica's childhood Easy Bake Oven Cafe? I remember this episode. Big oven. Um, wow. uh, it was um, Three, Monica, two, um e one. Easy Monica's. We'll give it to it you. Was, it was Easy Monica's Bakery. Yeah, I we'll think Easy Monica's counts. Yeah, um, okay. great. Good pull. Good pull yeah. for four points. Good pull for four. Oh, Made partially, uh, partially positive, partially condescending. Wow, that's no, great, I Mark. was more like shocked because I would have definitely yeah. gotten it wrong. Yeah. yeah. All right, going for this third question, which is worth eight points or six, six. points? Six. six. We double the three. Mm -hmm. yeah. I knew that. It's worth six points. How did Rachel's boss, Joanna, die? Um. Shit, she got uh, she got hit crossing the street. We'll give that to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, she got hit by a car. Yeah, what what I say? You got hit crossing the street. Same thing. We're giving you the Same points. Thing. Okay. Thing. Yeah. Don't give me the sympathy. You know. No, that's she got hit. I she got hit. Though. Yeah, you're right. She got hit. Yeah. All right. For this next question, question four. This one worth eight points. Um, the ombre man is Joey's competitor when he's selling what at a department store? Um, can I get a JTE roll? Yeah, yes. you, yeah, go ahead. We don't need those. You can just say, repeat the question. That's fine. Okay. The ombre man is Joey's competitor when he's selling what at a department store? Um, it's got to Cologne. Cologne yeah. is the answer. Yes. The We're football doing, is the move. We're wow. Doing. Don't ever pick up a basketball again, Mark. That's the lesson we've heard. <laughs> oh, no. Right here. All right. 
going for this last one. The last question uh, worth 10 points in this category is what is the name of the restaurant where Monica becomes the head chef after she gives them a bad review? Sinead, do you know this one? I think so. <laughs> Does it uh, change your answer? <laughs> uh, Vincenzo's. Incorrect. Sinead for the steal. Is it Alessandro's? <laughs> it, it is, in fact, Alessandro's. Open those eyes, girls. You got that. Uh, Alessandro's okay. is right. That's a big, big steal. Big steal. All right, we're still, we're still. What's the count? It's seventy to twenty-eight. Okay, okay. Big that round. Was a good category for you. Yeah. Okay. That felt good. That felt. Okay. That was more seventy is so many points. Yeah. Okay. Sinead, your other, your category options are the one about the finale, the one about the apartment, the one about sex, the one about habits, ticks, and bad ideas. Um, the one about the finale. Okay, here we go. Question one. Ross went to chase after Rachel and went to JFK, but Rachel was at what airport? Um, Newark International Airport or whatever it's called. You're correct. Newark yes, that is correct. Have you guys ever flown into Newark and you got to take the train? Yeah, yeah, it's many a, a times. Yeah. It's the cheap option. That's why I figured we'd all done it before. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, Every yeah. time. Okay, here we go. Question two, worth four points. What gift did Joey get Chandler and Monica for their housewarming? Oh, shoot. Uh, something sexual. Was it like a... For their housewarming? Yeah. Damn it, I don't know. Um with a with a rare miss. Yeah, I thought it was I thought it was I, okay, I thought it was a sex swing, but I feel like I'm getting confused between a different episode. Five. Yeah. Four. I don't know. Nothing. Mark for the oh, steel. thinking it. Four uh, big points. Oh, oh my God. I totally know what it is. I did overthink that, huh? Yeah, it happens. Was it a, uh, I thought he got him like a, a sign. Okay. The answer is the sign was talked about, but it wasn't a gift. The actual gift was a baby chick and a baby duck. The oh, chicken shit. duck. Right. Chicken duck. Mm -hmm. And then Monica gets mad because she's like, that'll yeah. be great around the new babies. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they give it back to Joey. Right. right. It's yeah. Chick Jr. and Duck Jr., right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no All harm, right. no foul. Okay. I'm Question. so happy you got that wrong. <laughs> Question three, Sinead, in the finale... Why did Ross live in the apartment for a summer with his grandma? Um, he was taking ballet lessons. We'll give it to you. Training to be a dancer. Training to be a dancer was the answer. Sinead is always more specific than we even need. Yeah. Yeah. What kind? Ballet. Sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, question four. Question four worth eight points. For what company was Rachel moving to Paris to work? Um, uh, shoot. Was it, was it Prada? Correct. Mark for a steal. Mark for a steal. Mark, this could hey, be your. Come here, honey. <laughs> um, Oh my Molly, God! What's a, Molly, what's a French? What's a French company? Oh, it's um, uh, uh Louis Vuitton. It is Louis, Louis Vuitton. Correct. With Damn. eight points. Good job. Good job. Look at 
Let's do it, doggy. You and me. Wow. Aww. Okay. Sinead, your 10-point question in the finale, who are Jordan, Joel, and Victor? In the finale, Jordan, Joel, and Victor. Are they are they foosball players? They are. <laughs> I think that is the hardest question that we asked. I don't know oh. how you got that one. Thank that's a God. tough one. That's that's a deep cut, Sinead. <laughs> wow. Well done. After, well I done. Got, after I said Prada, I still haven't forgiven myself. It's tough. Everybody loves Prada, too. All right, All right Josh, where are we score-wise? Okay, currently 98 for Sinead. Okay. And 36 for Mark. Hey! That's better than I thought you had. That's yep. good. If you had told me before this started I'd have 36 points um, <laughs> after getting zero in the first round, <laughs> yep. I'd, be pretty, mm -hmm. I'd be pretty excited. Here we go. All right, Mark, your choice, your categories will be administered by Roxy. You have the one about the apartment, the one about sex, and the one about I want about habits, ticks, and bad ideas. And it's like a man. Um, let's do the one about the apartment. The one about the apartment. Roxanne, take it. Here we go. For two points, the one about the apartment. What is the name of the building super that Joey learns to ballroom dance with? He's in multiple episodes. So. Yeah. Um, I can picture the guy. Just, it, are you looking for a first and last name or just just, or, just a name? Okay. I I know that the guy who played him was Mike Haggerty because I was in a pilot with him. Aww. And I didn't remember him for that. I remembered him from he he played Mario in a Super Mario Brothers live action show. That was really oh, great. I could totally see that. Yep. Um, but what the hell was his name in the show? Um, I'll try it with Mike. Mike, incorrect. Sinead yeah. for steel. Trigger. Trigger is, Trigger is correct. Trigger. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Point, points for Mark for knowing the actor's name, though. Not real points, but brownie points. Uh, for this next question, for four points, question number two. While building the entertainment unit, Joey leaves to do what in Monica and Rachel's apartment? Um, I'm going to say it's either... I'm between make a sandwich and go to the bathroom. I'm going to say go to the bathroom. <sighs> so close. I mean, it's close, but. No, I mean, he no does cigar. go to the bathroom. Oh, what is yeah. that, the shower? No. Sinead for the steal. All right. He can steal. He goes to, well, he ends up tiling Monica's bathroom floor. Does that count? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's it. He yeah. tiles the bathroom. So, Mark, you were right in the bathroom, but you weren't fully right. Yeah, she made right. that steal. This next one for six points. Question number three. Rachel fell off the roof and may have broken her ankle while trying to do what? Oh, um... Was she trying to catch Marcel? No, what? that is incorrect. I don't Sinead. think I know this. Sinead for the steal. Um, was she trying to? Was it something? Was she trying to take down the Christmas lights? That is, in fact, exactly what she was what trying was to do. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Was that right? Yes, that is yes. correct. Yep. Oh, that, that one hurts. Guess. That one really stings. I think I just guessed based on what people do on roofs. Yeah. No, she and, gets. I remember she she gets her foot caught in the lights, and yeah. she's like dangling there. What, oh. that, what episode was that? It was after they had, there was a note on their fridge 
And it had been up there for a while for Rachel. It was Rachel's job to take down the Christmas lights, and it finally. Oh, dang. And then the next episode is when they meet, uh, you know, the other, the famous doctors from television. Mm, interesting. Love this next question. Let's see what you can do, Mark. This question right. worth eight points. Mr. Heckles and which friend were class clowns? Monica. Mark! <laughs> class clowns? All right. Yeah, I thought because she lives right above him. No. Sinead for the steal. Chandler. Chandler is correct. I thought it'd be harder if it was like a 10 point question. <laughs> they're, they're, they weren't class clowns together. They were just <laughs> both their class clowns. All right, for the final one in this category, here we go. Worth 10 points. How do the friends poke that ugly guy to see <laughs> if he's alive? Fat after, naked man. What was it? Yeah, fat, fat, fat naked naked ugly guy. guy. Ugly naked guy. Ugly naked guy. Sorry. I, uh, yep. How do they poke ugly naked guy to see if he's alive after sleeping in a hammock all day? How do they poke him? <laughs> I don't, um, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a, you get a four, five, um, four, three. Two, one. Say it again. Chopsticks. You got it right. <laughs> it is in fact chopsticks. They make a long, a long pole of chopsticks. I'll be honest. I thought it was a spork, and then you said it you know, so quietly, like under your breath. Jim. Yeah, I know. I said, "Say it again." Yeah, I said, "I fork came out." Then I was like, "Wait a minute." <laughs> Excuse me. Are you talking to me? Hey, come here. Wow. Mark with a huge, huge Josh McCuga esque guess. That was Holy a big God. one. I thought I was the yeah. king of showdown guesses. Apparently, in Josh Pretty, Mark takes his place. Chopsticks all tied together are the poking the device. Big 10 pointer. Big Ugly 10 pointer. Guy is, in fact, That's alive. Great. He's alive. He is alive. We're good. Okay. All right. So after that round, uh, 108, 113, it is 117 to 46. Now listen, you may think this is crazy, but it is still a game. It is still a game. Oh, yeah. Weird things have happened. Sinead, you have two categories to choose from. The one about sex and the one about habits, ticks, and bad ideas. Um, let's just go for... The one about habits, takes, and bad ideas, just because I right. feel like that's harder. So whatever, let's just get it out of the way. Okay, here we go. Question one. Every time Phoebe goes to the dentist, what happens? Somebody dies. That's correct, Sinead. Sad truth. Yeah. Okay. Question two. What did Monica make a lot of to get over Richard? Jam. Jam is correct. Give her two po or four points. I'm a big grape jam girl. Just want really? you guys to know that. Yeah, my birthday's in July. If any of you guys are thinking what to me. I like black raspberry. Sinead's into apricot. Okay, here we go. Mm. Question three. I'm more of a Pop-Tart guy. I love Pop-Tarts as well. I have upgraded my alcohol choice, so things are getting serious. Ooh. We'll have a cocktail break in about two minutes here. I'm going to be hammered by the end of this game. <laughs> well, that's the only way Mark's going to win. So. <laughs> Keep drinking, Sinead. Okay. Question three. We're at six points, Sinead. Question three. What fruit is Ross allergic to? Kiwi. Sinead. That is right. That is, in fact, correct. Ross allergic to lobster, nuts, and... Oh, no. Kiwi. That's the third one. <laughs> There you go. I was like, is there another there thing she knows? All right. Question three, question four worth eight points. Rachel gives Chandler a hypnosis tape to help him quit smoking. 
What's weird about the hypnosis tape? The hypnosis tape was made for a woman, so Chandler begins taking on very feminine characteristics and habits. That's true. Give her eight points. You had us at woman. <laughs> yeah. All I needed was it was for a woman. There we go. <laughs> and finally, for the clean sweep of the category, BB has two rules as a masseuse. Don't fool around with the client and what? Always. Don't fool around with the client and then she still says it's just a good rule to know. Always be prepared. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Well, it's just a good rule to know. I had that. Thank God. God. Okay. With a clean, our first clean sweep of a category, I believe. Was Am I correct in that? Holy cow. Possibly. Wow. Maybe the drinking is helping, too. Yeah. We don't you know. know. When I get really drunk, that's when I get really good at beer pong. So maybe it's the same type of. <laughs> Ooh, you and me both. Let's get hammered and play together. I would love to. I miss beer pong with more people than just myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Are as fun solo. Beer pong? <laughs> what? Are you no. playing solo beer pong? No. No, uh, I've done that during quarantine. Run to the other side of the table. I'm not solo flippy cup and not solo darts. I don't do that by myself. Yeah. Okay. So right now, uh, your current score is 147 to 46. Proud Should of that. With a huge 100-point lead. Yeah. Now, uh, I did not see this coming. There is a daily double in this round. Okay? So when we ask you the question... You do get a chance to write it down. Also write down the points that you would like to gamble up okay. to 15 points. Okay. And by that, he means there is a Chandler Bing in this Sorry, round. Sorry, there is a Chandler yes. Bing, Chandler Bong. What, okay. is the, what are the points? Uh, you can risk up to 15. You can okay. gamble up to 15 points. Okay. Right, cool. And here we go. In the one about sex, where do Ross and Rachel wake up after their first time together? You have to write it down, Sinead. Oh, all of these? Yes, these are all write downs. <laughs> but why was she so upset by that? I don't know. <laughs> all of these? Can this can this be? We're the, making uh, our user hands. Can this be the Chandler Bing one? Yeah, sure, we'll give it to you, Mark. Just keep gambling fifteen points a question. We'll give it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, uh, I'm not gambling. Not, not this time. Yeah. I told you guys, been I've been drinking. So I've been drinking. <laughs> Okay. okay. Answers up in three, two, Great. one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mark. Museum. Museum exhibit. We'll give it to you both. Yeah. Well done. Two points apiece. Two points apiece. Very true. Where where was it in the museum? Was I think it, it was in like the homo yeah. like homo Yeah. Event. Remember all the students are watching as yeah. they yeah. woke up and they've got the caveman yeah. stuff wrapped over them. Yeah. Yep. Mm, to the people in the chat with Planetarium, that is where the juice box incident takes place. The right. juice box incident. So, Okay. Question two. That was the juice. The juice box incident was pretty funny. I like that. That's, that was a good one. That's great. That's a really, that's real good writing right there. If I don't mm -hmm. say so myself. Okay. What is the Did you write it? No. <laughs> I'm just proud of them. <laughs> <laughs> proud of the writers. Question two. What is the name of the Italian guy Rachel makes out with during the blackout and then continues to date? She made me right away. I think old Mark Ellis is going to be too much. My lobster has just walked into the apartment. Uh -huh. She's here. Lobsters don't walk. <laughs> she doesn't want to come on camera, but she's here. All right. In three... Two, one, answer is up. Paulo, Paulo. Yep, correct. Paulo, Paulo. Same Paulo thing. was I actually a dime, dime piece. Yeah. yeah, you spelled it right, I think, both of you guys. Okay. I was thinking, yeah, yeah. Question three, and this is your, nope, it's not. Never mind. Question three, which of Joey's sisters does Chandler black out and fool around with? Which of Chandler's sisters? 
jo- sorry, which of Joey's sisters does Chandler black out and mess around with? Which of Joey's sisters? The good news is, if you don't remember, neither did he. This could be totally wrong. Answers up in five. I think I'm three for three here. Three, two, one for. And you wrote down how much you wanted to gamble, Sinead? Oh, no. No, that's not this one. That's not this one. Oh, it's not this one. Sorry, it's not this one. I'm an idiot. I got so excited. Okay. Answer is up. I'm gambling 100 points on it. Is it Mary Angela? Mary Angela. It is Mary Angela. Uh, both get six. I think he thought it was Mary yeah. Therese, but it was not. And then it was Mary Angela. That was what I was between. So that Yeah, it's sense. tough. Okay. These are tough questions, and they, they're about to get tougher. Question four, and this is your Chandler bingling. Chandler bingling. Woo, woo, woo. What do we do with our hands now? <laughs> okay. So our, this is the one where we gamble up to 15 points. Up to 15 points. Yes. Do I like write it next to the answer? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's your question. Phoebe's brother, Frank, gets married to Alice. She was his teacher. In what subject? They didn't have to gamble the points beforehand? No, it's okay. We can see okay. that. Right. I hope this is right. Um, I didn't write down my points before. Just fully transparent. I didn't write down my points, but I'm just telling y'all. You, I think you know how many points I would have played to be there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Answers up in five, four, Three, two, one. Yeah, the answer. It. It's home ec. Home ec is the answer. 15 points, 15 points. M- Mark Ellis, what does your say? Is he, what, how do you write? Home ec. It looks what, like home ec. The first part looks like Arm. Adam or like Adam ec. I believe you. I H. believe you, but woof. That's an H. That's and an H. It some squiggles. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, All right, home ec it is. Okay. Here we go. Your final question in the one about sex. I'm sorry my Virginia school system let me down. I'm like the Boston public school. Mm, Newton South. (laughs) Okay, question five. In the one about sex, which of these people is not on Chandler's celebrity sex list? Kim Basinger, Yasmeen Bleeth, Elizabeth Hurley, Jessica Rabbit, or Halle Berry? Oh God, this is hard. The answer's right in front of you. Um, what an obnoxious comment. <laughs> I think you. I think I know what you're doing to us, Josh. I really? Think, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I think Matthew Perry dated. The, the answer in real life is my guess. Okay. Answer is up. In five, four, three, two, one. Elizabeth Hurley is the answer. Damn Mark, it. Big 10 points the there. First question that Mark has gotten right that Sinead has not, or is it the second time that's happened? Well, that, the, <laughs> the Russian is cut. The Russian is cut. Holy cow. Why did you, uh, just out of curiosity, writing the question, why did you pick Elizabeth Hurley? Just because she was another big name at the time? No. So, yeah. And I will give this. Amanda thought that would be a really good idea for a question. She wants credit. She's sitting next to me, and I just got a finger pointing. So, oh, Amanda, she just got me 10 points closer to Sinead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, but Sinead is, this is a bloodbath for Sinead. So, uh, th- no, Elizabeth Hurley was on Ross's list, not on Chandler's list. Mm. Oh, Okay. Okay. Just in case you guys were wondering, the number one on my list of those is Jessica Rabbit. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. I love her. Smoking hot. Yeah. Totally. My sister used to be in love with animated Simba for like 10 years. And I would always tell her, like, he's animated. We were kids. <laughs> but she was legitimately in love with him. I was going to ask what age, but. I love that the animated talking. is the biggest hurdle, not the fact that it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, animated. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So currently. As my Josh Makuga scoring system has been updated, as you guys were talking, one, Sinead has 177 points. Mark has 83 points. If I lose by less than 100, I'm giving myself the victory. 
There you oh. go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the rapid fire round. These are 15 questions. They will be rapid fire style. You will get 10 seconds to answer. If I happen to time out on the stream, say, you know, stop and I can stop the questions. You will each get around seven seconds to answer and then I will move on. You get your chance to answer, ask a repeat of one of the questions once I'm done reading all 15. Okay. There are a couple numbered questions in there. I will give you plus or minus three on those numbers. Okay. So you have a, you know, an error of over or under three point three, whatever. Okay. And we're writing these down, right? And you're writing them down. So write out like one through 15 on your paper right now. Okay. I Just would... I would be doing well during this, Josh, if I had any ability to not panic during trivia at all. <laughs> you think you got these questions? Not not all of them, but yeah. looking at what we're asking, I have all the confidence in the world in Sinead and some confidence in Mark's football. Uh, Elite 71 says, I'm smelling a comeback, Mark, LOL. I think there's a lot of LOL in out there. That's all right. I put on. Okay, um, and then after this is over, I will read out the answers. We're gonna go on the honor system, which ones you got right, which ones you got wrong. So I trust both of you, all right? Okay. I have okay. nothing left but my honor. <laughs> Here we go, each one of these worth one point in rapid fire. Question one, what TV character does the doctor who delivers Phoebe's babies love? Question two, where does Joey see Janice kissing her ex-husband? Mm. Question three, Joey auditions for a musical and lies about being able to do what? One of the greatest episodes. <laughs> What's the name of Ross's girlfriend he meets in China? I have thoughts on every one of these, Josh. Rachel's dad does what as a profession? You guys playing along at home? <laughs> How many total episodes of Friends were aired on TV? Oh, my God. Wager a guess. Which non-friend appeared in the most episodes? Janice appeared in how many episodes? Can you, can you tell us which question number we're on? Question 10, or sorry, question nine. Is that right? No, Ten. Yeah. now you're about to be on nine. Okay. Nine, question okay. nine. True or false, Giovanni Ribisi appeared on Friends before we knew he was Phoebe's brother. Question 10, when is Phoebe's birthday? If I write the same as Ursula, do I get points? <laughs> Question 11, when is Rachel's birthday? Oh my God. Mm. True or false? Jan from The Office was in an episode of Friends. Look at my fun game with the ball. Aw. Thanks. You said aw. I said thanks. Good enough. Question 13. What is Carol's last name? Or this is my Wheel of Mayhem. <laughs> Question 14, George Clooney and who else were the cute doctors when Rachel falls off the roof? You need the real name? Damn it, can I we- I need the actor's name. Oh man.
Question 15. Who gets hit with the hockey puck at the end of the episode where Ross gets hit with the hockey puck? The complete series. Oh, wait, wait. Look how cool when I missed it back and forth like this. Ooh. All right, and that ends rapid fire. I will give you guys some time to think about if you'd like any of them repeated, you get one of them repeated. Yeah, I need uh, I need number three repeated because I just totally missed it. Question three is Joey auditions for a musical and lies about being able to do what? Wow, these are tough, you guys. You guys did good. <laughs> this is a Josh round. He crushed. I'm very impressed with the chat right now. Uh, you guys are doing an awesome job in there. For those of you playing along at home, congratulations. Hopefully none of you guys are a bunch of cheaters. Thanks for everybody that uh, threw in a super chat. Really appreciate that. Very nice of you. Thanks for everybody who tuned in. All right. Pretty proud um, to get in here. Uh, Roxy, would you like to read the answers? I would like to read the answers. Should I repeat the questions as I read the answers? Um, quickly. You don't have to. It's up to you. Would you guys like me to, or are you good with just the answers? We're fine with the answers. I don't okay. know for the audience. Yeah. All right. I'll read the questions quickly. What TV character does the doctor who delivers Phoebe's babies love? The answer is Fonzie. Where does... Are you guys going to let us know if you got them right? No, just I either okay. cross them out and then give us your total at the end. That's okay. Cool. Where does Joey see Janice kissing her ex-husband? The answer is mattress store. Joey auditions for a musical and lies about being able to do what? Dance. What's the name of Ross's girlfriend he meets in China? Julie. Rachel's dad does what as a profession? Doctor. He's a doctor. Well, how many total episodes of Friends were aired? 236. 236 oh. episodes were aired. Wait, hold on. If you're plus or minus three, remember, plus or I minus know. three. I had 240. Oh, oh man. Which non-friend appeared the most uh, in the most episodes? Of course, this is Gunther. Janice appeared in how many episodes? 20. 20. 20. True or false, Giovanni Rabisi appeared on Friends before we knew he was Phoebe's brother. And that is true. When is Phoebe's birthday? The answer is February 16th. Do that get, is. Do we get the plus three or, or minus three there? I'll give you that. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I will. Good Valentine's Day. So it would be within the. That's three perfect. Weeks. That's great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For the next question, when is Rachel's birthday? The answer is May 5th. May fifth. Ah, do, do I, I wrote May second. Yeah, you get it. You yeah, get that, it. That's my mom's birthday. Um, wow. Wow. True or false? Jan from the office was in an episode of Friends. That is true. True. What is Carol's last name? The answer is Willet. Willet is her last name. And finally, George Clooney and who else were the cute doctors when Rachel falls off the roof? The answer is Noah Wild. That is the answer. Noah Wild. And, and Wiley, Wiley. That I didn't have written down there, Shin or, uh, Roxy, because they needed 15. The person that gets hit at the end of the episode where Ross gets hit with the hockey puck would be the reception nurse, or we would accept nurse. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Um, I and it's no Wiley, Roxy. Wiley, right? Wiley, yeah, I know. ER, I should have said that, but uh, I, whatever. I have a yep. spelling Reading's not for, uh, for Carol's last name. Sure. I, I, I spelled it W-I-L-I-C, but it's 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 with a T, right? Will it. I spelled yeah. it with a C, too. So we'll, we'll give it both to you. Will right. it, will it? Yeah, I spelled it with a C, too, because I thought it was will it, too, but maybe, yeah. maybe it's not. Uh, <laughs> All right, I got 10. All right, quick for a bonus point. Quick for a bonus point. What is the last name of her lesbian lover? Uh, Susan. Got it. Susan. Um, this I know. Um, uh, I don't know. Sinead? Bunch. Bunch is correct. Bunch is correct. Well done. Right. Okay. Well done. So how many points did you get? So out of 15, right? Yep. 
I got 10 out of 15. I got 10 out of 15 as well, but then Sinead got the bonus one. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, no, you got no. within three of those birthdays. That's that, actually like kind of incredible. That, that is. is nuts. Yeah. I I watched the episode where they all decided to not have Valentine's. And then I think the next one I watched must have been the Phoebe birthday. Mm -hmm. one. And so those just kind of ran together for me. And I, Rachel's my mom's favorite character. My mom got a Rachel cut in the 90s. And so I was just, I, I just went with May 2nd. So. That's amazing. I am curious, Sinead, because you're such a beast, where did you go wrong for this? Other than the birthdays, yeah. where were the misses? I got the both birthdays wrong. I got uh, Noah Wiley wrong. Wiley, why? How did I do that? But I do know it was Dr. Mitchell and Dr. Harm Harmon or something. I don't remember that. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't know his real name. Um, the how many episodes? Yeah. I just guessed two hundred. Okay. And then, oh, how many episodes Janice was in? I put eight. Yeah, 20. I thought it might have been more. That's but crazy. Really? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. And mm. Gunther was in 150 episodes. That's That's, I guess like if you think about it as a whole, you have to yeah. remember there's a lot of episodes. I was thinking about how many lines do you think Gunther had? Probably 100, maybe. Maybe. Hey, maybe. I feel like less. Yeah. I'm thinking like closer to 50. Okay. I mean, he was always in like, he was in like how, like apartment parties and everything. I mean, yeah, he, he was, he was, yeah, yeah. um, they started using him a lot more like towards the, end, like yeah. cool and onwards, but what a great guest star job. Yeah. <laughs> like, honestly. Oh, to get to eat that craft services for 10 years. Yeah. Oh. And then yeah. the show you have 50 lines on gets syndicated across like every platform ever. <laughs> yeah. Never has to do another thing. You have know? you ever seen him ever on anything else? Well, no. he was Bryce and all my children, remember? He was. Oh. I have that as a, I had that as a bonus question that I didn't put in there. Yeah. Oh, good thing. Good thing I didn't just give it away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So for final Josh Brady, now right away, now right now the score is 188 to 93, which is a runaway. If Mark doubled his points, he would only get 186. So Sinead, if you bet zero and doubled in, in final Josh Brady, you still win. But to show your Friends prowess. Final Josh Brady will work like this. <sighs> currently, not currently, but in the in the run of the show, Phoebe sang 46 songs and mentioned eight songs. I'm gonna give you two minutes to name as many Phoebe songs as you can. You're gonna write them down. And then you're gonna tell me the songs. Don't start writing yet, Janae. Oh. Is it 46, Josh? What's that? Is it 46? So it's, there's 40, hold on. Uh, there are 46 plus eight, so 54 total songs. Okay. 54 total songs to choose from, okay? Um, I'm gonna give you two minutes. I'm gonna put it on the clock right now. I will say the, the what? music video episode where they aired the music video. I don't yeah. want to give uh -huh. the episode where they brought in a very famous person to actually sing at the cafe mm -hmm. are two very underrated episodes. Yeah, those are great. Also, one of those songs that you mentioned, do you know that Taylor Swift brought uh, Lisa Kudrow out onto stage? I've seen that video. It's fantastic. It yeah. is. It, it's pretty incredible. I mean, that's the song, right? Yeah. That's the song. Totally. Do you know that uh, Lisa Kudrow, they asked her to learn to play guitar, to play the role as Phoebe, and she said, okay, and then started to learn and said, I cannot do this, and that is how she became the musician she was on the show. So she only learned as much as she learned and was like, that's, that's enough for me. That's awesome. I yep. love it. So I get 25 points for each correct. Yes, correct. I would really I not do well here. Works. I don't know. Am what did you I, say, Sinead? I don't know how this works. Am I supposed to decide how much I'm betting or what? You should bet zero. Okay. Because then you win, correct? Right. Yeah. Don't bet anything. Your, your friends 
I mean, if she wants I know, to. I don't know. Like, honestly, I know she's saying these songs. I just don't know. You said mention. That's throwing me off a little bit. Yeah. There's a couple more. She mentions a song, but that song never got sang on the show. Okay. This is tough. Are those mentions? I'm curious, Josh, when she is getting outside of Monica's restaurant and Monica's um, upset that she's playing the music because it's not fancy enough and she's mentioning There's the names of her of songs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right. We've got uh, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. I was looking at the trivia in this book, Josh. Yes. They Good. are. So, Mark is very lucky. We did not ask more questions from here. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I knew there was a book. <laughs> I don't yeah. know that it would have helped. All right. Yeah, I mean, that was going to help against. Sinead was a yeah. was a lion in the weeds, yeah. waiting to pounce. Two, one. That's why they call her Shanasty. That's why they call her Shanasty, guys. Okay. She lives by one set of rules, and those rules are, are the Shanasty right. rules. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Sinead, I'm going to pull up the list. You read me the songs that you've written. All right. So I have Smelly Cat. Sure. I have Ode to a Pubic Hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have sure. Lather, Rinse, Repeat. Yes. Yes? Yes. Um, Lather, Rinse, Repeat. The shower song. Yes. Okay. I have Three. Little Pepper People. Uh, what do you think? I don't have Little Pepper People on this list. Well, she mentions Pepper People. Mm -hmm. That's That should count. Yeah. Yeah, give it to her. Okay. Yeah. Um, the Colors of My Bedroom Wall. <laughs> Those are the colors of a bedroom. Yeah. A, yeah, I think we give it to her. That's it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and then I don't know what this, I only had six, but the Christmas song is. Yeah, the one. Monica, have a happy, happy time. Uh, that one. Yep. Yeah. That's okay. exactly what it's called. Mark, how many did you get? Christmas okay. song, yeah. Um, I had, uh, I don't know if this, it, what the name of it was. I wrote Life Support Guy. Life Support Guy. <laughs> Yeah, she sings a song about the guy who they distracted and got hit by a car. And then she runs out with Monica to go because they're taking turns like shaving him and stuff. My coma guy. Yes, yeah. we'll give him my uh, coma. That's okay. good. Give it to him. Yeah. That's like so obscure and yes. fucking weird yeah. that you knew that. So I, I watched it. the episode. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. I watched like 10 Total Friends episodes in preparation for this all week, and that was one of them. Mm. Um, the uh, uh, I, A Cow Goes Moo. Yep. Uh, Lather, Rinse, Repeat. Yep. Smelly Cat. Yep. Um, uh, Sue, Sue, Suicide. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Good one. Good one. And then um, <laughs> I wrote Happy Birthday. There is a birthday song. There is a birthday song that Phoebe makes up. It's for Ben, I believe. She, does. I thought she did a couple of, for a couple of the different friends. Yes. Yes, and she's like, um, uh, his name rhymes with Emma. That one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. That's so good. I remember. Yeah. I remember there was. A, don't give me points for this one because I don't think unless it's right. Um, I, I I remember she had a holiday theme one. I think I was thinking of the Hanukkah one, but I wrote I just wrote Merry Christmas. So unless you did that song, don't that shouldn't count. It's called Christmas song. Christmas song. Pretty fucking close. Um, yeah. We'll give then, you a holiday song. Yes. How many? So that's seven. Am I right, Roxy? Yeah, then, I think so. Um, and then the name song. The name song is correct. There is a song. Oh, wow, Mark Ellis. So look, the weird thing. I'm going to show you. So I just wrote rinse repeat. So I didn't write lather rinse repeat. That's okay. No, that's okay. We'll give you I, that. I just remember the chorus: the rinse and repeat and lather rinse, rinse repeat as needed. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that. Was that your last one? That yeah. was that your last one, Mark? Yeah. I can't believe okay. neither of you with my stingy shoes. Oh yeah. Now stick on me. <laughs> 
I'm not good when it comes to things like that. I don't remember like very fine details. Remember, she loses her voice and she's sick and she doesn't want to get better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she dumps her. Baby. Yes. <laughs> What's yeah. the she starts singing when the power goes out? I don't remember that. She starts I, singing one. Oh, yes. Sings. Yes. But isn't it like a, it's like a weird, like kind of like kumbaya -y type song, isn't it? It's called, it's just called Blackout. The one with the blackout. Ah, okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So Mark, I listen. wagered, I wagered. God, you just freaking crushed it, dude. You got all eight. I wagered 71 points. And the reason for that, I think I had 93 going into this, right? Yes. Yeah. So I wanted to wager because I was pretty sure I was going to lose those points. So I wanted to end with my favorite number 22. Ah, you got all of them right. That's amazing. But instead, you got to one sixty-four. Woo! Now, Mark, had you gambled all your points, the final score would have been one eighty-eight to one eighty-six. Hey, I'm I'm happy being within. Like I said, I'm happy being within a hundred of Sinead. I am in awe. I am humbled. I am just beyond impressed. I can't process how ecstatic I am to know somebody with the knowledge inside of Sinead's head. Sinead, we got to find you a rival going forward because yeah. that was impressive. Mark, right. you've, like, you've like flipped it a little bit for me because the, the amount of random ass obscure details you remember about the show. That is true. It's actually like kind of weird. Like it's a little bit like psychopathic, but like I'm impressed. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I had these because like I watched the show like every Thursday as it was airing. And so I have like these just certain lines like that, that are just like stuck in my head. Like the uh, like the prison when when they asked, hey, Ross, tell them that's how they tailor pants. It's like, yeah, that is how they tailor pants in prison. prison. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I, when I first moved to the States, um, Friends was the first show that like my whole family watched together. Yeah. So I like remember watching it as it was airing, but like we moved to America in 1999. So like we were still so like foreign as hell. And like- Sinead, where'd you move from? South Africa. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah, and so Friends was such a good way of like learning so much about like normal American culture, like every day, really fun, a lot of slang. And also like we watched it together all the time. So my entire family, is as, is as obsessed as I am. Like there you go. My, family, um, my whole family was obsessed with the show. My aunt, who's like 15 years younger than my mom, so she's kind of like a tweener generation, she was living at our house. She had moved in. The season Friends debuted. And so she was like, oh, you guys got to watch the show Friends. And then from then on, that was like our Thursday night ritual forever. And I don't think that either Matthew Perry or Lisa Kudrow get the credit for how many yeah, of yeah. that they influenced. Because... If you go to the comedy store on any given night, everybody on that stage has a little bit of Chandler and a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, real quick, uh, Sinead, Peggy Gubbins in the chat said uh, she could take you. Um, she she would she would challenge. Um, so you've got some competitors out there, people that are watching right now. You know, hit me up if Sinead right. is willing to come out, come back on. You know, uh, she's she's got some competition out there. I'm, I'm ready. As soon as this turns off, I'm turning friends on. <laughs> but Sinead, next time we're asking tougher questions for you. I'm telling yeah. Josh, this has got some things that I don't know, Sinead. I Ask don't us know. A tough one, Rox. Ask us a really tough one. All right, I'll, I'll look for a tough one and we'll see if yeah. Sinead can grab it. This person is asking me who's your guys' favorite friend in episode. In yeah. the beginning of Friends, um, it was definitely Chandler. Halfway through, it switched to Ross. After the I'm fine episode, he became my favorite. The leather pants, Ross? like lose Ross, yeah. When he like loses his mind. I have never met one person whose favorite episode, whose favorite He's character hilarious. is Ross. Hilarious. But Chandler is the funniest by far for the first few seasons. And then once he gets married, by no fault of Matthew Perry's, they kind of switch that role onto Ross, who like literally loses it with the moist maker, losing it at work, all that stuff. And my favorite episode is the one where they battle for the apartment. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is by far, I don't know why, what it is about that episode. It's so good. It's and great. also when um, when Eddie, Adam Goldberg, guest stars as Eddie, though that set of like two episodes yeah. where he grabs the fish out of the fish tank and puts it in his pocket. I think Adam Goldberg might be the most underrated um, guest star yes. in the entire history of Friends because he's not, serious. Not, you're not wrong. You're not yeah. wrong.
Okay. Hey, Mark, is a great one. The one that I that's always sticks in my head is the one that's like, oh, Mark, this is what you should aim for when you're in golf is when Joey and Chandler get those uh, recliners. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember watching that just because they like sit like, back like, on them. I was the perfect age for friends where I'm watching it and I'm like, oh, this is what I'm going to be doing when I'm an adult. Like, this is how adults should age. And if you came to my apartment, you would probably notice that, yeah, that's what Mark thinks an adult is. Love it. Um, I will say when I first walked into Mark's old place, his first place when we first became friends, I walked in, I was like, do you live with Chandler? <laughs> Aww. Uh, I've always been a Joey guy. I'm Italian. I moved to New York to be an actor. People called me Joey. You know, it was, I was the Joey roommate when I lived in New York, the whole thing. And by far my favorite episode is, um, is the Brad Pitt episode. I, it's like, it's, it's, just, it's a classic. It's, it's my favorite. Yeah. Roxanne? Uh, definitely my favorite episode is the finale. It's the most cliche thing to say in the world, but I think it is the best finale of all time. I think it's perfect. Um, it, it ties everything up beautifully, and I love it. My favorite character forever was Chandler until it was Phoebe. Um, okay. And I I so strongly believe – actually, I'm doing a piece on, on this now, but I so strongly believe that Lisa Kudrow is – just the greatest of all time. And that she talk about people who don't get the credit that she deserves just as an actress. I mean, between that and the comeback and Romy and Michelle, she is, she is one of the funniest human beings on the planet, but also just I, I, for some reason is never the talked about person in whatever project she's working on. And yeah, it's crazy it's because she's so good. She's you know so good. Who, you know, who turned down the role of Phoebe was um, Ellen DeGeneres. Good. And mm. she, I think Ellen DeGeneres would have made the character so different, but it's also crazy because if you think about what it actually looks like that the year prior that Lisa Kudrow was fired off of the pilot of Frasier yeah. and then had to work with the same director who directed the pilot of Frasier as the person who was directing her in the pilot of Friends, the amount of pressure that was on her and the way to succeed after, imagine losing Frasier. You think you are never going to work again. I mean, if, yeah. you, if you're in the pilot of something, devastating. And to come back like that, I mean, she's just got resilience like crazy. Also, she's a member of the tribe, so go Jews. She's yeah. a big Lisa Kudrow person. Go Jews. Go Jews. Yeah. Uh, very good. And thank you guys all for being here tonight. Thanks for competing and you know learning your friends and being amazing people. Uh, you know, stay safe out there. I love all of you very much, uh, and uh, I I'll be there for you. Nice. Wait, I have another question that I found. Okay, okay. ask it real quick because Amanda's okay. starting to cook and it's going to get loud in here. She could care less. What, what <laughs> college did Phoebe's brother Frank Jr. go to? Uh, refrigerator College. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna go with Vassar. Very close. Very Vassar. close. Mark Ellis. You guys, Mark Josh, Ellis. thank you so much. Roxy, thank you so much for doing this. Mark, it's been a pleasure. I miss you guys so much. But Roxy, honestly, let's do this too. again sometime soon. All right. I'll take any challengers. Any I'm challenger. Yes, she, she will. will. She really will. All right, love you guys. See ya. There we go. Thank you guys for all for watching. Um, got some fun Josh McCuka shows coming up. Uh, some Check out the Afternoons podcast. I'm working on a cool little fun idea here for the channel. Uh, until the next time, this is that part where I look in the camera when I end the broadcast and it's really awkward.